So to make our snowflake, we're going to start out by making a new part file. So new. We're going to be using inches. So let's stick with English. Standard. Hit create. I'll start my sketch. And the very first sketch I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a three inch circle. So click my circle tool. Click my origin. And I'm going to come out and just type in three. And I'm going to finish sketch. I'm not actually going to do anything with that sketch. That's just going to be a guide to use. So I know that I'm going to stay within three inches. Makes a good size on our printer. So now I want to start actually drawing my shape. So remember, I'm only actually going to be doing just a little portion of it right there. So that is a 30 degree angle right there. So let's go to my part. Let's start a sketch. And let's find that 30 degree angle. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line coming down right down the middle. Doesn't matter how long it is, just as long as it's straight up and down. Hit escape. Now I'm going to go back to my line tool. Go from the center point outward. And I'm just going to click right now. I'm not going to worry about what it is. And I'm going to use my dimension tool. So click my dimension, click that first line, click that second line, and bring this up here. So now when I click, now I can make that exactly 30 degrees. So everything I want to do for my drawing is going to be within this 30 degree spot right here. So this is where you can get creative, make it however you want. So I'm just going to take the line tool and start drawing some lines. So let's put it, and I'm just making stuff up right here, I'm not doing anything in particular. It's going to be a very ugly snowflake. What happened to my line here? All right. So that is very ugly, but we'll see what happens with it. So, first thing I want to do is I want to extrude that. I want to make this three-dimensional. Okay. So I noticed when I clicked that, my part wasn't whole. So let's edit my sketch. Let's get rid of all the lines I don't need, see if that's causing a problem. My sketch. Extrude. It's extruded a quarter of an inch. Now we want to mirror it. So after we've made it three dimensional and extruded it, we use this pattern tool over here. First, we use the mirror button. So we're going to click our shape. Over here we have two different options. We have mirror individual features and we have mirror solids. We're going to go to mirror solids, click on your shape, hit mirror plane, and you're going to choose this edge over here. Hit OK. So now I have, on my clock I've got 11 to 1 o'clock. On my snowflake I have one whole thing. So next I want to use the circular pattern right here. 
So this one, I'm going to come over here to Pattern Solids, and that's going to choose my whole thing. Then I want to pick my rotation axis. From there, I want to choose this very center line right here, this vertical up and down one. This is where you can change how many pieces you have. I can say three times, or I'll do three, I can say a hundred. And it says, hey, that's ridiculous. But we're going six, hit OK. So that's the snowflake. So that's pretty simple one right there, but we want to add it a little bit of dimension to it to make it look better. So what we're going to do is use this fillet tool. So if I move my end of part over here, back up before my mirror, I just have this one part right here. If I use my fillet, I can change my radius. So let's put 0.125. It's an eighth of an inch. See what that looks like. That's too big. So let's change that to 0.05. All right, so now I can just start clicking lines. What this is going to do is it's going to round over those edges. give us good points. So this top edge right here I probably don't want to do because remember I have that mirror. So I'm just going to click random edges. And let's not do that one. And hit apply. And now when I go back to move my end of part down, that fill it copied over to all those pieces. So, if I want, I can go up here to the color. As default, I can even, I can make that indoor pool. Get a nice, pretty clear blue one. I can change this, I can make it some yellow snow if you wanted. But then from there to make that the STL file, you go to File, Export, CAD Format, drop this down to STL, hit Options, make sure that's on Medium. And then when you save that, that's what you can bring over to the 3D printer. Another nice thing you can do because we did the mirror and the circular pattern, is if I wanted to change it, if I go back to my original sketch, I say, hey, that looks ugly, that's a, I don't like it, so I can come back here, edit my sketch right here, and this part looks dumb, so I'm going to fix that and make that look prettier. So I'm just gonna delete these lines, Make it look a little more snowflake-like. When I hit finish sketch, it'll automatically update it all. So now again, I can go back and do that fillet with some of these lines. Apply. Yeah. So there's your snowflake.